Yo, what is up guys? Co Reefing here. Just wanted to give you guys a small update on the water box Peninsula 25. Don't know when the last time you guys saw this tank is, but you probably see less fish swimming in here. And there's a story I gotta tell you guys. Um, but before I get to that, I did have four anemones in here, and now there is five. One of them split, primarily because of something that happened. If I back up a little bit, you guys will see this extension cord that I added there, because my heater was not turning on. The main power supply, here, let me get these lights. The main power supply is a PC100A 80J power strip. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen these. If not, you can look them up on uh, Amazon. I had my heater connected and I don't know if, yeah, you guys can probably tell. There's three outlets that are off right now. And I don't know why or what happened, but this power strip uh those three that are off uh it came they came defective and i didn't notice it until obviously after the warranty period right so um, i can't return it but anytime i connect anything to those three ports that are off it would stay on for a little bit and of course it isn't like a smart controller or anything so it didn't notify me right that it went off and the only reason I figured that out is because I would plug something else in like my ATO or like my return pump to those outlets and nothing would turn on. That's what she said. So obviously it has to be the power supply. Something's wrong with it. So there's one on order. I'm going to replace that power supply with a new one. Going to try something different this time just to see how it goes and then we'll go from there. But the first time I caught it, I didn't think it was a power strip. So I came to the tank and the only reason I actually found out that anything was wrong was because I first lost my six line RAS. And he would always come out and be swimming everywhere. I didn't see him that one day. And then I went and looked behind the rock and there he was. So. I then went in to uh, fish him out with a net. I did so, and in doing so, I, I caught a little bit of the water and it seemed cold. So I was like, okay, something's wrong with the heater. So um, I went down to the power supply, turned the switch on and off for the heater, and it turned back on. So I left it, right? I mean, the heater turned back on, so I should be good. Amen! Why not? Why not, right? And then the temp went up to, back up 278 to what I have it set at, and we were good. Uh, a couple days later, I come back, and I cannot find my Midas Blenny. Calm down, everybody. Um, he was either eaten by all of the snails and stuff that I have in the tank, probably the fish, but the Midas Blenny was and is gone. And I have no idea where he went. So I then think like, okay, nitrates are too high. Tested that, those aren't high anymore. Um, <clears throat> they were a while back, but not anymore. Went to touch the water again and it was cold. So I was like, okay, something's really wrong with the power supply. And then that's when I figured out those three just don't flat out work. I have this small little strip connected there going to this other outlet because the outlet that that power supply is plugged into is behind the tank and I didn't want to mess with it because then I'd have to replace the other six things I have connected. So um, I will eventually whenever I get that new power supply. Uh, take that out and do all of that but 
I didn't want to mess with it for now. So the only thing plugged into that outlet is the heater that was connected to that power strip and it's working fine. Like I'll pull it out and if you see a light, oh, check that out guys. It's at 70. This cannot be happening to me. So you guys are witnessing a low, a cold tank. Here, let me touch the water. Oh my God, yep, it's cold again. Okay, so. Years of academy training wasted. Anyways, that anemone split because of the difference in temperature that they're going. So they're constantly going from like 72 to 78, back to 72, back to 78. And I don't think they're having fun. This tank is, is going through it, guys. But this clownfish, and I still have that Sunrise Dottie back in here. They're doing fine. Um, I know it's obviously not good for the fish for them to be going back and forth and having these huge swings in temperature, but I will fix this and we'll see what happens. But nothing like coral wise is dying, so that's good. I only have that carpet anemone, some couple toadstools. I have this pulsing zinnia on this rock. I mean, this Ghani's not doing so hot, but Ghani's are sensitive anyway, so I'm surprised it's even still alive, semi-alive. But thought I'd give you guys an update. I lost two fish. So yeah, this tank is going through it and it's all due to the power supply. Make sure you guys check I know people say don't put your hand in the water, but have some sort of thermostat. Um, obviously mine is only via my heater uh, that tells me that the temperature is low. So I have to physically go over there and take it out. Or you could just touch the water, but I know some people hate that you put your hand in the tank because you don't know what you could have on your hands, like some sort of, like you just put hand sanitizer on that would kill everything in your tank, so don't ever do that. Reef stock is this weekend, so I am gonna show you guys and kind of get some video and footage of that, so that'll be pretty cool. Stay tuned for that. Um, it'll probably be posted sometime Sunday night, Monday, or Tuesday. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, that's why I haven't been posting much, but I will get back on it. I have a bunch of stuff downstairs that I wanna show you guys that I got delivered and I want to set up, but I just haven't had the time and just haven't been feeling so good. So I will leave you guys here with a video of the clown swimming in the anemone and I will catch you guys on the next run. Co-reefing out.